Well, folks, as, as you've seen, Moderna has landed here in Ontario. We can't wait to get the vaccines out to the long-term care homes. I truly believe this is going to be a, a game changer. Uh, as, as you've heard on the news many a times, these don't have to be stored at minus 80. It gives us more flexibility to get into the long-term care homes and uh, save lives. I do want to address the, the situation with the, the finance minister. Uh, did have a, a conversation with him. He is on his way back, should be back tomorrow. I can tell you I'm, I'm very upset, I'm very frustrated with the, the situation. I stand out here every single day and tell people to stay at home. People are losing their businesses, we're locking things down, and it's unacceptable that anyone, any elected official, myself included, or anyone that gets up ignores the rules and goes down uh, to an island. It's unacceptable and we're going to have a very tough conversation when he gets back. But uh, I can tell you there can't be rules for elected people and non-elected people. Everyone's in this together and we're going to stick together and we're going to get through this and uh, there's absolutely no excuses. When did you know he, had, he was out of country? Yeah, I, I want to tell you, Jamie, that was a, a good question. He never told anyone he was leaving, never told me he was leaving. Uh, I did call him shortly after he arrived and I, I talked to him and asked where he was. He said he was away, so this is going to be an issue. Uh, my mistake, and I take full responsibility, at that time I should have said get your backside back into Ontario and I didn't do that. Uh, I did talk to him the other day and said get back here in Ontario as soon as possible. So we'll be uh, talking with him uh, tomorrow when he arrives. There's a level of deception also with this trip because he, he, he had pre-recorded messages that he had released on Twitter and mm -hmm. and he also had uh, a backdrop when he did an interview with Rogers and Durham. Yeah, no, again, uh, Jamie, this this is unacceptable. You know, we're, we're, we're supposed to be the, the leaders. We can't have a rule for one group of people and then, uh, you know, snub the rule and, and go do something else. I'm concerned about the, the, the videos as well on social media. But we're going to we'll address it. I can uh, guarantee the people of Ontario we're going to have a, a tough conversation when he gets back. This, Cynthia suggested this. This reflects on your leadership. If your mm -hmm. own Minister of Finance is not paying heed to what you're saying, and I'm sure you, you spoke and said, don't leave the country. And then he does leave the country. Does not reflect on your leadership. And how does that justify to the person that's in their basement right now not seeing their mother? It doesn't. You're right. It doesn't. It doesn't justify anything. When we're telling people they can't see their elderly parents, and uh, everyone's sitting in the, in a house at Christmas with them and whoever else is in their household, and we're saying you can't go anywhere. Uh, that's unacceptable, and it'll be addressed. I promise you that. People are requesting us, uh, suggesting you should be terminated uh, or asked to leave the uh, Conservative Party, given the fact that there has been people who have been asked to leave the party before, and far less of events. Well, we'll have that tough conversation tomorrow, and uh, I'll be back to the people uh, tomorrow. But I appreciate it, and thank you, folks. Don't let us, don't, don't let this d discourage us. We're going to move forward. This is a positive day for the people of Ontario. Uh, Moderna has pulled through. We're going to get people vaccinated. I want to thank uh, Michelle. I want to thank the mayor. I also want to thank Dr. Lowe. And Dr. Lowe doesn't get too much credit. He doesn't get camera time very often. But Dr. Lowe uh, has been working around the clock as Michelle and the, and the mayor have uh, been doing. I want to, again, thank all the frontline health care workers. You're absolute heroes. We stand behind you, we support you, and we will get through this. And we're going to see more vaccines roll out and mass vaccinations in, in uh, April, May, and June. And uh, we're ready. And I have confidence in our team that we'll make sure these uh, vaccines get into people's arms uh, immediately. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.